Hello, the Coastal and Heartland National Estuary Partnership is proud to share this video update of our work to protect Florida's water and wildlife in Congressman diaz Ballard's district. First, we wanna thank you for your support of the National Estuary Program. Your support has helped to fund critical restoration and protection of Florida's estuaries of national significance, including Tampa Bay, Sarasota Bay, Indian River Lagoon, Charlotte Harbor, Clusachi Estuary, Estero Bay, and more. The Coastal and Heartland National Estuary Partnership encompasses more than 5,000 square miles and includes multiple estuaries in the watersheds from Donna and Roberts Bay in Sarasota County to Estero Bay in Lee County in Southwest Florida. And it includes the rivers of the Mayaca, Peace, Clusahatchee, and Estero, as well as inland and coastal communities spanning across 10 counties and 25 plus cities. First, we're working to aid your efforts to protect water quality. And the CHNP program area covers a portion of District 25, ensuring that our priorities overlap with yours in protecting these critical natural resources. The CHNP exemplifies the power of partnerships as a public private partnership that is science and consensus based, non regulatory, and citizen supported. Because of private contributions, volunteers, and donated in kind services, We've been able to provide more than $19 worth of restoration for every federal dollar of funding we receive. And we work to implement the Comprehensive Conservation and Management Plan, a five-year strategic plan collectively drafted by all the CHAP partners. It has four priority action areas, water quality improvement, hydrological restoration, fish, wildlife, and habitat protection, and public engagement. And we're working to aid your efforts to protect estuaries and we appreciate your recent support of bills such as the Harmful Algae Bloom and Hypoxia Research and Control Act of 2018. CHNP supports comprehensive and coordinated water quality monitoring and projects and programs that reduce pollutants entering our waterways. One such project is the Coastal Shoreline Harbor Monitoring Network, which is a regional partnership of agencies managed under the CHNP and funded in part by us that collects monthly water quality data using consistent, technically sound sampling design across our region. We also fund the CHNP Water Atlas, which is a public website that houses not only this data, but all other publicly accessible data in one place for natural resource managers, policymakers, and the public to utilize to understand local water quality conditions. We also recently assisted with the development of a harmful algae bloom dashboard, which looks at how to quantify impacts associated with recent harmful algae blooms and enables resource managers to know how to effectively reduce those economic impacts in the future. We also recently undertook the Clusahatchee Seagrass Gardening Project with our volunteers, which replanted seagrasses in the title Clusahatchee where they had been completely lost. And as a result, we documented the first case of reproduction of seagrass in that portion of the river in more than a decade. And we're currently getting ready to launch the Clusahatchee Cyanobacteria Rapid Response Pilot Program, which uses innovative technologies to absorb nutrient pollution and the toxins produced by cyanobacteria blooms so that we can lessen the impacts to human health and the natural environment. The CHNP also hosted the first C43 water quality feasibility study meeting to convene experts in the public to look at adding water quality treatment to this comprehensive Everglades restoration plan project. And we're currently funding and managing the Shola Harbor Flatwoods Hydrological Restoration Initiative to collect data and to undertake modeling to construct a hydrological restoration plan for 80,000 acres of land in Charlotte and Lee counties. We also have a similar project underway that we're funding and managing called the South Lake County Watershed Initiative in South Lake County. And we recently completed a habitat restoration needs plan for the region, which gathered all habitat plans and put them together with cutting edge climate science that looks at sea level rise and its impact on habitat migration to create one master plan that identifies preservation conservation opportunities on private lands, and management enhancement and restoration targets on public lands that are needed to preserve endangered species and native wildlife habitat now and into the future. Zeroing in here on the Clusahatchee Basin, you can see on the left, those private preservation conservation opportunities, and on the right, the existing public lands that are suitable for 
continued management, enhancement, or restoration to improve their habitat value. Together, they fit together to create landscape level habitat areas and corridors. And finally, we recently completed an economic valuation study with a team of economists who gathered all economic data throughout the region and teased out only that directly tied to natural resources to quantify the natural resource value to our economy. They concluded that natural resources in the CHNEP area generate 13.6 billion in total economic output, 3.8 billion in regional income, 146 million in local and state tax re revenue, and that they support 148,000 jobs annually. Finally, we just want to again say how much we appreciate that you continue to co-sponsor legislation such as this harmful algae bloom and hypoxia research and control act of 2018 that protects and restores these critical waterways 